Hey guys, Robert with 3D Printscape. So the last several videos I've made have been on laser engraving, and I did pick up a couple of things to help with those videos, uh, such as this mesh here uh, for cutting. Uh, so I figured I would do a video covering whether or not I felt it was worth the cost. So honestly, it wasn't that much, um, but it's good to have some examples here. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna go over uh, what it is, kind of why you might potentially want it, um, show you a couple examples like what I have here versus just using a uh, aluminum base versus a mesh or something that can move air underneath it and give your recommendation at the end under what circumstances something like this could be worth it. Uh, so if you have any questions about what I'm covering or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention really quick, uh, we made some changes on Discord so we started to introduce forms just to organize things a bit more. So if you are on Discord and you have any questions about those changes, uh, don't hesitate to reach out and kind of go over how they're used a bit more. Um, the main reason they were introduced was to make things easier uh, for everybody and so that we know when questions got answered because just with general chat, sometimes a lot of people are in there talking and it gets kind of mixed up and you don't know if everybody got the answers they were looking for. And also just a reminder, uh, we did set up a Patreon service. So if you guys are interested in helping the channel grow, uh, um, you can subscribe to that, it would really help out. Thanks. All right, so first I wanted to talk about what these two components here are. If you're doing any type of laser work, I strongly recommend having some sort of base, like this aluminum base here, uh, because even if you do an engraving where you don't expect it to actually cut through, uh, accidents do happen or you don't you misalign it or something moves. And if you don't have a base down, you're going to end up cutting into uh, whatever materials on your build plate. If you don't put an aluminum plate like this down, uh, throw some scrap wood or something like that under it like I showed in one of my other videos. Um, that at least provides a layer of protection in case something does go wrong and you're not gonna mess with the printer. Um, but a thin sheet of aluminum like this is good to have around for uh, working with lasers. Uh, and then here you have the mesh system. So this basically just sits on top of the sheet. You can use just this if you're just doing engraving, but if you're doing the cutting, uh, you would want to use this as well. And what it does is it allows air to get uh, in around all the parts when the laser is working uh, so that it's not burning the bottom as you're cutting through, which I'll show you in some examples here coming up. Um, what it does is it gives you a much crisp or cleaner cut uh, versus just using the straight bottom. And in some cases, it made cutting through the material possible uh, where it wasn't without using the mesh. So really, it's going to come down to a lot of the material you're using, what you're trying to do, etc. cetera. Um, but this setup isn't expensive. Uh, there's a bunch of different options on Amazon. I can link to the one that I bought here. Um, uh, there isn't one that fits the exact size of the Ender 3 bed. So I, this is, uh, what is I think it's uh, 200 by 300. Uh, so it does stick out the front a little bit. Um, but it still works. All right, so let me show you a couple examples. So this first example here is pretty much a cork board or a thick card stock, and there really wasn't much of a difference between using just the aluminum base and the mesh. You can see on this one here, this was the aluminum base. There was a little bit of burning here uh, where it keeps going back to for the start. Really, I think that has to do with how it was structured on the design. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, but I've noticed that burned area on several of the prints I did. Uh, but on this one, I did not have the issue. So materials like this, you're not going to notice much of a difference between using a mesh and not using a mesh. All right, so here I have a couple examples with using eighth inch basswood. Um, from the top, you don't really notice too much of a difference. These two here, I just did the aluminum bottom. Uh, this one here, I used the uh, mesh. Um, but yeah, from the top, you don't notice too much of a difference. And uh, it's also worth mentioning that a lot of these pieces just fell off just because the material is so thin. And when I moved it around, it just split. Um, but the big difference here is going to be on the bottom of these cuts. You can see on this one here, it's a lot cleaner. It's pretty much just more of the same material bottom or same color bottom. But when you go into these ones, it really just looks like it was burnt. Um, so if you care about what the bottom looks like when you're dealing with the wood, the mesh does help quite a bit. And here's the same example where it was burned as well. All right, and then you guys might have noticed these pieces in one of my other videos where I was talking about um, the laser wattages. 
Uh, but the main thing I wanted to show here is that with a mesh bottom, you are able to cut through thicker materials and not have an issue with the bottom of it. I had an issue uh, with a test I was doing that had the plain aluminum bottom, which I'll show you here in a couple seconds. Um, but it was pretty much a failed attempt. Uh, the bottom was completely burned out and the part was unusable. Uh, but these, uh, with the mesh bottom, I was able to get through a quarter inch oak and half inch oak without too much of an issue. The half inch does have a little bit of burn, but I mean, this is with 12 passes. Uh, so that's kind of expected. Uh, but without using the mesh bottom, cuts like this are extremely difficult and risky. Uh, it, the mesh allows the air to really circulate a lot more and it makes these types of prints a little bit uh, safer. Um, if you are going to just use a flat aluminum bottom, make sure that you're keeping an eye on them because it's gonna burn quite a bit. All right, so here's quarter inch oak where I used the mesh on the bottom. I didn't pop all these out because I wanted to show you the back to kind of use as an example. You can see on these pieces where it is a decently clean cut. Uh, you're gonna have burn here regardless, uh, just from the laser. Um, but overall, the edges on the top and bottom are pretty clean. And on the bottom of this, it is pretty good, except for one little area here uh, where there was a starting point. So that can change based on the model you're using. Um, but across most of these on the bottom, you can see that it is pretty clean. Um, so if you are trying to cut through the quarter inch oak, uh, using the mesh is a good option. Again, it really just goes back to the materials you're using. Here's the same quarter inch oak uh, without using the mesh bottom, uh, using the same design, just a tad bit smaller on the scale. And you can see here that it kind of burned it out and the back side of this was just completely burnt. Uh, so if you are gonna be working with the thicker materials and having to do multiple passes, I strongly recommend using the mesh unless you're gonna have a lot of issues. See here, it kind of left um, residue on the plate. I can scrape that off, it's not a big deal. I just left it on for the video. Um, but yeah, this was a complete fail and it produced enough smoke to set off the smoke alarm. Make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area and you're using a mesh if you're doing anything like this. All right guys, so that covers the examples I wanted to show. As you can see, when dealing with wood or materials similar to that, uh, the mesh made a big difference because it's allowing air to get underneath it so it wasn't burning the bottom. Uh, some materials like this, um, thicker cardstock, uh, it didn't really make much of a difference. So I guess at the end of the day, it really comes down to what are you planning on doing with your laser? Are you focusing just on graving? If so, uh, getting an aluminum base similar to this is just fine, or you can even get away with using some scrap wood or something underneath it. It's really just a precaution, just in case what you were working with gets shifted around or misaligned and the laser goes off of that surface and it, so it don't actually damage the printer. Um, but if you are doing any type of real cutting and not just engraving, uh, the mesh system is pretty nice and it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $30, give or take. Uh, I know the size is a little bit weird. They didn't have one that really matched the Ender 3 um, because it's meant for more of a standalone laser engraver. Um, but you can make it work for a lot. Um, so just keep that in mind. So if you have any questions about what I covered or like to see any other videos, uh, go to leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.